Hey guys, it's Janet, Mountain Ridge Pottery. Um, today I'm going to show you something I learned to get a better, I've been searching for textures on my forms. I um, love my glazes and everything, but I want texture now. So what I found was um, this fancy sodium silicate. Sodium silicate liquid will allow your form to stretch more. It hardens as you wipe it on. So what you're going to need is the, the sodium silicate um, slip. I make my slip as I go um, when I take slip off my form. So I, <clears throat> excuse me, put it in here so it's nice and creamy. Um, you need a pair of gloves and um, red iron oxide. You can buy the red iron oxide at any clay store, supply store. The red iron oxide is the cheapest. I do want to work with blue and other colors, greens and things like that. You can work with mason stains, um, any oxides, cobalt. Anyway, so let's get started. What I did was I threw this form and then I took a heat gun. You, oh, you also need a heat gun or you can use a torch. This is pretty cool. Watch out for me. Um, okay, so some kind of heating product uh, to heat the outside of your form. So this is almost, it's pretty warm. So I didn't, it's not leather hard or anything like that, but what you wanna do is just heat it up so it's a lot more hardened. Um, next, what you're gonna do, this is what I did and I used my gloves when I made this, mixed this solution and I, you just gotta play with it. Anything you look at on YouTube, they tell you the same thing, so I played with it. It's really a 50-50 with um, slip, iron, red iron oxide, or like I just explained to you, any kind of stains you want to use, and then the uh, sodium silicate. So just play with it. The more sodium silicate you use, the more crackle you'll get. So I've been experimenting with these. This is my third one today. So I'm going to apply this really thick on the base of this. And keep applying all the way down to the bottom. I just get so excited when I find new things to do. I'm sure most potters do. Speed this up a little bit. Okay. So you have it nice and thick on there. <clears throat> now, um, you want it to harden some more. So you can take the blowtorch, which I like. It's just a small blowtorch. Heat it really quick like that. Heat a little bit more. What we're doing now is we're going to draw some designs on it. And it doesn't matter if you're a good drawer or not, you're just going to put some designs on so that when you pull your piece outward, because um, it's going to make the design puffy. So what this does, the silicate does, is it hardens on there and it's like a glassy texture, but it's kind of spongy glassy. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, so I've taken this tool, just a little wood tool. Um, you can take a pin needle, you can take a rubber tip, something, maybe I'll try that this time. But all you do is you start making some designs on here. If I can get that, okay. So, I think what I'm going to do, you can't see this, but you want to make the design somewhat deep, but not too deep. Here, I'll show you in a minute. You can see that. Um, I'm just going to do some squigglies. And my glasses on because I can't see but what it's allowing me to do is to play with the clay and I'm not I'm pressing hard but I'm not going to go through which is nice so I'm making some branches here Okay. Some of these you have to go back over. But your lines will get more defined when 
we pull on it next. Okay, so we're gonna heat this up some more with our heat gun. The torch is always fun, but the heat gun I think is more effective. So we're gonna do that. Get the heat gun pretty close. Start heating it up. Dry it out some. The last piece I pulled, stretched out, I should say, I went a little too far and there was a hole in it. So you've got to be really careful when you stretch this out. Um, I'm watching the bottom here and it's heating up, drying up on the bottom, so I'm going to stop here in a minute. Okay. So the next thing we do is we get our fancy rib. Um, I use a small one just so I have um, space with my hand in there. My hands are kind of big. And um, I've been finding I use my hand first and then I use the rib. So let's make sure this is on. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck. I don't have any holes this time. So you pull up gently as if you're throwing the form again. But this time you're not using the outside at all. You're not touching it because you want to get that crackle effect. Okay. See, I'm starting to get the crackle effect in there. Isn't that nice? All right. I'm going to pull with the rib on the inside. If you can see how this is forming. See, and you get the crackle. Isn't that beautiful? Plus your design stands out more. There you have it. I'm going to keep trying stuff new and I'll share it with you guys. I get really excited about new stuff. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a, a, something on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I also am on, on mountainridgepottery.com and check out my stuff because I have a lot of new stuff for sale, including this kind of stuff here, which is not fired yet, but I'm going to be doing this in different colors. I have started marbling my clay, which is a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Bye.